In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, take notice of the laws and customs that I teach you today, and observe them that you may have life, and may enter and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. See, as the Lord my God has commanded me, I teach you the laws and customs that you are to observe in the land you are to enter and make your own. Keep them, observe them, and they will demonstrate to the peoples your wisdom and understanding. When they come to know of all these laws, they will exclaim, No other people is as wise and prudent as this great nation. And indeed, what great nation is there that has its God so near as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call to Him? And what great nation is there that has laws and customs to match this whole law that I put before you today? But take care what you do and be on your guard. Do not forget the things your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your heart all the days of your life. Rather, tell them to your children and to your children's children. The Word of the Lord O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem! O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem! Zion, praise your God! He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the word of God. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the Word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore, the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, how are you modelling? And you might be wondering, what do I mean by modelling? We know how little children always imitate their parents or grandparents. 
either in terms of cooking or washing the car or um, mopping the floor. Um, children will always like to copy um, the elders. And very often we try to teach our children good things, good habits, good behaviours. Uh, and we ourselves try to show them first because we believe in them. What about the good news? Do we model the good news, the gospel? Is it really good for us that we want to model it, to live it out? Not just for um, the sake of our children, but we truly believe in it from the heart. In our first reading, we hear from the book of Deuteronomy. It says, Do not forget the things your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your heart all the days of your life. Rather, tell them to your children and to your children's children. So in the book of Deuteronomy, Israel has been saved by the Lord and given the law, the law of life. And it should be inscribed in their hearts how they should worship the Lord, their God alone, and how they should live and love themselves and others and God. And in this way, in the living out of their life and their love, their children will then begin to see. So it's not in just the explicit telling, it's also the living out, the modeling. And so in this period of Lent, I invite us to continue to look at our own lives. Do we believe in the good news? That it's so good that we are living it out, that we're oozing it forth, permeating in every sphere of our life, so that whatever we say, whatever we do, the way we are, our children, our neighbours, uh, those around us, can see and believe that the good news is good. And let us now pray in this wonderful prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of our all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Give to your people, our God, a resolve that is pleasing to you, for by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favour. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.